Hello and welcome back to Real Reactions. I'm your host, Alessandra Guaneri, and today we're covering I Know What You Did Last Summer as a part of our Halloween special series. We had the opportunity to see a screening of the film at Coolidge Corner Theater here in Brookline, Massachusetts. And we're going to be chatting with Nikki and Darren today to find out their thoughts about this 1997 popular film. It's a bit creepy for spooky season, and let's just say, I know what you did last summer. For the last year, four friends have kept a secret. Are you on drugs? No. Well, then what is wrong? I've had a rough year. But not all secrets stay buried. Somebody sent this to me. Oh, my God. Someone knows. I know what you did last summer. Ooh. What they thought would be a new beginning. Toast. Plus. Nikki, Darren, you just saw I Know What You Did Last Summer. Let's hear some initial thoughts. A masterpiece. My favorite movie. Really? It is actually my favorite horror movie. Now she's changing her answers. Nikki, this is your first time seeing it. What were your thoughts as you were leaving the theater? Leaving the theater, well, it ended with a shock. So I was a little frazzled at the end and then everyone was laughing. And I was like, is there a sequel? I wanna see more of this. Is there a sequel, Darren? Yes, but I haven't seen the sequel yet. There's two of them. <laughs> wow, we may have to do another two episodes on this. Now, did this film give you guys 90s like horror movie vibes or not yes it was the most 90s thing i've seen in a while <laughs> sounds about right what about you darren what do you think really 90s like everything they were wearing their reactions everything was so 90s did you have a favorite character in this film nikki we'll go to you first barry that's all i have to say what a name darren who was your favorite helen barry And when you were watching the film, did you suspect any of the characters to be the murderer? Darren, um, I know you've seen this before. Yeah, when I first saw the movie, I definitely suspected Ray. He was really sus the whole time. <laughs> oh, Ray, back at it again. Nikki, did you think it was Ray or someone else? Definitely thought it was Ray, but then there was a point in the movie where like it really couldn't have been him. And so I was like, I don't really know what's going on here. And as um, Julie was figuring it out, it kind of all clicked together. But still, even when she had the epiphany on screen, I was like, I still don't know who it is. She's like, I figured it out. And it was like, okay, well, nobody else did. So interesting. Oh, and was it who you suspected or was it someone else? No, someone else. Oh. <laughs> um, spooky season. Did you expect the ending to be the way it did? I know you said something kind of crazy happened. W did you like that? Did you want something else? W what did you think? I like the ending. It was cheesy, but like fun in the moment. But like, I thought there was an ending point and then it just like continued. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Like, it's not over yet. Like, come on. And then the end was just a lot. What did you think of the ending, Darren? The ending is really funny, but also like it makes you want to see the second movie now because it's so obvious there's a new one coming. Okay, yeah, I feel like that is kind of 90s. Yeah. And what would you rate this film on a scale of 1 to 10? Darren, hmm. it is your favorite movie, so I do have a high expectations. To me, it's like 7. Yes, yeah, 7. Kind of rough. Nikki, what did you think? I would give it like an 8.3. Very specific. I know. Okay, 8.3. <laughs> and was there a scene that stuck out to you guys when you were watching it, maybe for like the 10th time and for the first time? Um, what, what was that one scene that you, know, you really enjoyed or maybe it was that end scene that you really liked? Um, there's one scene towards uh, like the beginning-ish. It was after they come back from college. It's a year later after the original incident and Barry just doesn't think before he does anything. And so they're walking, it's Barry, Julie, and Helen are walking up to Ray for the first time, or maybe the second time. And Barry just, without doing anything, he just punches him in the face. Oh. 
and he just falls what? over. He's like, dude, what the hell? And he's like, you're just jealous. And then it was what? absolutely whack. And then he's like, you're the, you're the killer. You're out to get me. And, and he's like, I'm being hunted too. And they were like, the girl starts screaming. It's a whole thing. But like, he just ran up and punched him in the face. I mean, that was your best friend in high school. What happened? What is going on? Um, Darren, was that your favorite or? Uh, oh, it's a very interesting scene to pick, Nikki. What did you think? I mean, the scene that is the most crazy is when Helen's like watching her boyfriend dying or like when she's on the stage, she like watches him die. No! So that's... And no one believes her. It's really frustrating to watch. Yes, and no one believes her. Would you recommend this film to horror movie fans or 90s movies fans? Like, what group would you recommend this to? Who's going to like this film if they haven't already seen it? You're going to like this movie if you like the horror genre, if you can deal with jump scares and you like something that's cheesy. Like, it's it's cheesy. Like, it's not, like, super serious. It's more of, like, a comedy horror than, like, even though it's there's drama in it, you just laugh at most of it. So scary movie vibes. Yes. Scary movie one, two. I mean, it's not like going to see us or get out. It's such a different experience. So if you want to just like have fun, scream a little, and expect it to be really cheesy and 90s, it's really fun. Moving on to our BuzzFeed quiz of I Know What You Did Last Summer, Nikki and Darren are going to compete in a little game of <laughs> I Know What You Did Last Summer <laughs> quiz. On BuzzFeed. So starting with the first question, it's going to go to Darren. Who was driving when the car accident happened? Ray was driving Barry's car. Correct. Nikki, that's 1-0. What's written? Okay, well, <laughs> you still have zero points. What is written in the letter to Julie? I know what you did last summer. Correct. <laughs> wow. Back to you, Darren. The next question is, who is Julie's boyfriend? It's Ray. Correct. <laughs> Nikki, what did the fisherman write on Helen's mirror after she was sleeping? Soon? Correct. This is going to be tough. Will there even be someone who loses a point? Could be this one. <laughs> what does Julie shout in this iconic scene? Um, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Ah! Yes. That was that should have been to Nikki. Nikki's question is, how many times does Ryan Phillippe take his shirt off in this film? Oh, wait. Okay. I got to go through each of the scenes. It happens in the gym. It happens. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. We're going to have to put a timer on this. 2 hours later. <laughs> There were like serious abs in like the shower <laughs> slash boxing scene. Five. Okay, I don't know. Four. Maybe three. Okay. The answer is one. Oh, come on. The next question goes to Darren. Which of the foursome did the fisherman kill first? Um, Barry? Correct. Nikki, back to you. What was Helen's sister's name? Elsa. Correct. Darren? Which 90s band did not have a song on the film soundtrack? Korn, The Offspring, L7, and Limp Biscuit. I'll just randomly pick L7. <laughs> Limp Biscuit. So, this is going to be the tiebreaker for the I Know What You Did Last Summer trivia game. Whoever claps first with the right answer without stuttering for too long of a time will win the game and be the I Know What You Did Last Summer Real Reactions champion. Your hearts and life are on the line. Let's go. Here is the last question. What is written on the shower door at the end of the movie? <gasps> Ooh. Darren. I still know. Correct. Darren is the winner of this game. Nikki, I'm so sorry. You will go home with the consolation prize.
Thank you for tuning into this special segment of Real Reactions. I'm your host, Alessandra. Happy Halloween and spooky season. And a huge shout out and thank you to part of our cast, Nikki and Darren, for helping us with this I Know What You Did Last Summer special show. Now, although our reactions may be a little ridiculous and a little bit racy, they're always real. real. Now, who wants some popcorn? Yeah, it was cool. Oh, mail. Since it's for you guys. Oh. I don't know about that. 